copper, oh, there we go. <laughs> copper this way, come on. So last week the kids were sick all week and I was really, really stressed a few days ago, like more than normal. I woke up with a cold sore. It has been a long, long time since I've had a cold sore. I am 32 weeks you, officially. How old are you, Mom? I'm 31. Oh, and Jonathan is 31. No, Jonathan is 41. 40? <laughs> Jonathan is our friend. And he also built our home. We love Christensen Homes. I am sure some of you guys do this as well, is before you set up Christmas decorations or before Get Christmas on. comes, you like to go through your house and kind of de-junk, take things to donate Christmas or whatever you celebrate so that your house feels nice and clean for Christmas. Because my kids were so sick last week, I have taken all of the bedding. This is all clean and I this needs to be cleaned. I am washing all of the blankets. So today is a huge washroom day. We are washing blankets. We are getting them folded and put away. So everything feels nice and clean, especially because we were sick. Something I did yesterday on Sunday for the first time in months, yes months, as I cleaned the floor in the laundry room. So when I vacuum and mop, I'll just kind of do a little right here where we walk but I actually lifted the rug up and I mopped and I cleaned and so the laundry room feels nice and clean. We do not have much winter clothes to be honest. The kids have all grown out of their sizes and we don't need like heavy winter gear here. I have all of our coats laid out. I think we need another coat. That's Calvin's old coat that fits Tommy. This coat will fit Calvin and Jack Jackson. This is like a Sherpa jacket. I think that'll work. I wanna see. Um, they all have hats. <laughs> this is the warmest night of the whole week. It's 50 degrees right now. Oh, I mean the high was like 60 yeah. something degrees today. So comfy. Oh good. There you go, cutie. You look like you're gonna be warm. So it's the warmest night of the week and so we're gonna go out and we're gonna take you guys with us. But as I'm getting ready, I'm just realizing I think I need to order another coat. It's crazy. I do love having three boys for hand-me-downs, for sure. This is great. One thing I admire about Facebook moms, Instagram moms, I guess that's the best way to describe it, or just parents in general, especially those who are active in their community, is those who do things with their community. We have some friends, uh, Ashley and Dallin. They're the Dashleys. You may know them on Instagram or on Facebook, but they are so involved with the community activities. That is so cool that they do all of these things. Like anytime there's a craft night, there's like a community swim or like going to the library. I'm like, where do you find all of these things? And I just, I think it's a talent to be able to see everything that the community has to offer and be able to schedule those things and do those things. We're not very good at that, but that's something that I want to be better at is being more, involved. being more involved with what happens yeah, around our city and tired. community. I love that you boys love reading books. When we go places, the kids often will grab a book, which I love because we definitely love electronics. They love playing, what games do you play? Minecraft, Fortnite, like they love games. But I love, love, love that they love reading books. They'll stay up so late at night reading and so you can't like push that on kids. Like they either love to read or they don't. And I really love that our kids love to read. Dinner's always great when there's no wait at the Olive Garden, one of our favorite places. As we were walking, Jackson was like, was that an ad for Olive Garden? Like, do they say that? Is that their slogan? And I was like, no, that's your dad just being a little goof goof. <laughs> In December, we like to go out to breakfast and dinner with the kids. So tonight we are taking the kids out to dinner and I always love coming here because it was the first time Jared and I got like, it was like an official, yeah. we're really dating mm -hmm. picture and it was the day before surgery and it's just a fun spot to come for the kids because it's nice but it's not like way nice but it's not McDonald's. Whenever you're at Olive Garden, do you guys eat the pepperoncinis from the salad? Do you ever eat it, Jackson? Do you ever eat it? No. No? Should I eat this? 
will ruin your night. Should I eat this? It's a pepper. It's a hot peppercini. It's a, no. Is it a jalapeno? I always want to. Is it a jalapeno? Like it's spicy? Mm -hmm. I don't usually do too well with hot foods. Spicy? That's a little spicy. I want to smell it. It's so spicy. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that is interesting when we take the kids out to dinner is what they would like to eat. You'll notice that Calvin has a full-on entree that he is sharing with Ellie and Jackson and Tommy to have a kid's meal. We think it's so funny that Calvin's like, I'm skipping out on this. I want the good stuff. And then we thought it would be fun to recreate the photo that Ellie and I have cherished for years with our entire family. And we might have to do it again when baby girl comes. It is almost seven o'clock at night. <laughs> and it is currently 53 degrees outside. Not shabby. Not too shabby at all. Now, this is my question for you kids. Normally when we live up north, it's 20 degrees. 15 degrees and there's like a foot of snow. Is that something that you're happy we don't have right now in this moment or do you miss it? I miss it. You miss it? Aww. It makes me a little sad, I'm not going to lie. I think there's definitely advantages What's to that? both areas, both climates. What is that white thing's coming from the sky? <clears throat> oh, those are stars, bud. <laughs> I have to tell you, white thing. we <laughs> are going to be going up north very soon and we're going to be experiencing yes! the opposite the cold the frigid the snow and you guys will get the best of both worlds does that sound good mm -hmm. okay thumbs up should we go see some christmas lights yeah. heck yes Yep. And then move your pinky up and down. <laughs> Having a hard time with his mouth? There you go, let's see it. All I can do is dance. These are called hot chocolate bombs. So dad and I picked some up for a friend the other day that's sick. And I mean, they kind of <laughs> they are. They basically are. Do you want to grab one? Yeah. Oh, there, yeah. there you go. Can I open it? Yep, and then and put then it, put in, it your in your mug. I want to try one too. I think we all should try them. These have been some of our favorite mugs that we got, and I'm so proud for how long that they've lasted. It was wild. So our Disney cruise had already been booked. I had gone through such an awful miscarriage. Was that when they did the yeah. DNC? Yes, it yeah. was. Mm -hmm. We had to go and do our passport photos. We had to drive an hour away to do it. I was sicker than a dog. I was Completely so sad. Completely sad, yeah. Just bawling. The photo, I, my face was swollen. You could tell I was crying. Just, it felt so wrong to do that. Like, yeah. I didn't want to because I was literally going through so much. But I remember being on the cruise and going to the gift shop and I thought I am getting something good and I'm bringing it home. We packed a whole dang suitcase full of mugs and we love these. We, all year, we, I just think they're so cute and it's just like a sweet memory to have of that cruise. Drop them in. Whoop. I just heard the beep on our kettle and we have some hot water. It's hot, so we'll wait till it cools off. What's gonna happen? So is it doing anything yet, Tommy? No. Nothing yet. <gasps> Look! <gasps> marshmallows! Wow. Hey Jackson, watch yours. Yours is gonna do it. Well, look! Marshmallows! How fun is that? Do you love that? Yeah! That's so fun! Yeah, there's marshmallows. You got marshmallows too, Cal? Yeah, let's hope Jackson got some. Oh, <gasps> how fun! Whoa! Jackson, crack, crack the bowl a bit! Did you get it? Did you get any marshmallows? It's still working on it. Oh, there it goes. There you go! Yeah, these marshmallows are so good. I haven't tried those balls before. 
They're so good, but I haven't tried them before. But I know they're I good, right, Tom? I wonder how much I'm gonna like the actual hot cocoa, though, because it smells like it was almost like dark chocolate. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and I don't I really... wonder if they use the dark chocolate on the outside. Um, I don't dare, it's hot. I don't dare yet. Oh, we gotta let it cool down a little bit. Oh, Calvin's got the right idea. He's gonna put some milk in to cool it down faster. You going to? <laughs> <laughs> You're the sassiest little thing. All right, I'll He's help you. He's been on one today. <laughs> a sassy, what? big sasser pants. You're a sassy boy. Who put my name on this? Um, Mommy did when I ordered it. How? We need to get our sissy one. Oh, that goes right there. That's a good idea. Hey Jackson, you want to come hey. to yours, bud? There's Tommy's. And Mama, that would be next to mine. That looks good. Oh, can't see your name. There you go. I just know that December is gonna go by fast there because we just had Halloween. And I don't want it to go by fast. Like I want us to enjoy our evenings and just hold on to these moments forever. But it also is hard because I feel like once the evening comes, <laughs> I'm very just done for the day. I'm either, you know, pregnant, tired, or I want the kids to go to bed. Tonight feels really good. Like it feels good that we were just up hanging yeah. out. Jared and I really are trying to focus, especially this month, to do a lot more game nights with the kids, to do more family nights with the kids whether it's like festive or not. Yeah. And I'm really glad we got our stockings hung. That's super fun. Something that we don't do every night, but what we try and do is read our night story and say prayer by the Christmas tree during the month of December. We've we only done it twice, but it's what, the night We haven't something? done a prayer. It's not too bad. Yeah, not too shabby. So should we, say, we, should we read our story and say prayers and go to bed? What do we want to do it upstairs? We can do it upstairs. Down here, wherever. Okay, upstairs it is. <laughs>